Gillingham, Burnley and Watford all just above the bottom three. Uh, Bradford can't really afford to lose another game. And ahead of a home game at Preston, Wimbledon's relegation to Division 2 is already uh, confirmed. Uh, and given the move to Milton Keynes and the still to be confirmed name change of the club, it, it all rubber stamps the end of Wimbledon as we knew it. Damien Johnson was a first-hand witness. Look at his watch, that's it. The referee, Scott Matheson, blows the final whistle. Wimbledon are relegated. 20 years after promotion from the old third division, Wimbledon are going back to where they came from. After administration and player sales, the relegation last rights were read on Tuesday by Sunderland. How difficult has it been being a manager at Wimbledon this season? Uh, well, half the time I, I haven't really seen myself as being the manager because there's a lot of things I haven't been able to manage. You know, things have been taken out of my hands and, and they've been out of my control. I think it was ten years ago uh, this season that we finished sixth in the Premier League. Um, I never envisaged that this would ever happen, um, but it sort of snowballed into, um, into quite a bad situation. South London still has a club bearing the Wimbledon name and playing to full houses, even though the original Dons have deserted Merton for Milton Keynes. AFC Wimbledon, backed by many of the old fans, are top of the combined county's Premier League and this week contested the semi-final of the Premier Challenge Cup. Do you allow yourself a glance up the road at what's happening at Milton Keynes, or do you just ignore it completely? Well, people like you do ask us quite a lot of questions about that sort of thing, so it's impossible to ignore it completely. So, yeah, I mean, we've seen what's gone on. Uh, they're two years into their master plan. they managed to lose most of the fans, uh, all their players, and their Division One place. They're going down. There's not really a lot of interest. This frenzy of football, as Mr Winkleman told everyone, was going to happen. It doesn't seem to have appeared. You know, as you can see, people going in the ground tonight, there's a lot more interest in this club than in Milton Keynes at all. Despite relegation for the relocated club and apathy among former fans, there's still hope of a bright future in a new stadium in Milton Keynes. We should be on site by the end of July, um, and if we can do that, we, we, we could get it finished you know, quicker than everybody thinks. They're a bit like Meccano sets, and they do go up very quickly. I think we showed that with the changes we made here. We did them in five weeks uh, on, on a plan of 12. So it is something that's going to happen. We've had to wait an awful long time for it. But to be honest, Milton Keynes has been waiting 30 years for its football, so I think it can wait another two. As the Dons' demise continued this week, AFC Wimbledon won through to their cup final. A crowd of nearly 2,000 saw them overwhelm Coney Hall. They're on course for a league and cup double, albeit in the unfamiliar surroundings of non-league football. The good thing is it's happening in South London, um, not even South East London. It's close. Kings Meadow is close enough to, uh, to Wimbledon to count for us. It really is a fans club and everyone from the management right the way through are fans of the club. We are possibly four promotions away from league, so perhaps 10, 15 years time, we could be back, back in league football, but next year we've got the FA Cup, and that's going to be huge. If the Milton Keynes outfit don't arrest the current slide, and AFC Wimbledon continue their rise up the leagues, allowing for league restructuring, the two sides could be playing each other in three years' time. I'd love to you know, play them and beat them. Um, hopefully at that point they won't be calling themselves Wimbledon or MK Dons or anything. They'll just like accept that it's Milton Keynes. You know, the franchise has moved to the Midlands and you know, that's what they're doing. We want a plan for the future. We are trying to find a way of drawing a line. If it's going to be Wimbledon or if it's going to be Milton Keynes Dons or if it's going to be you know, Wimbledon MK or all these different things you hear, maybe we can try and get that decision made by the end of the season. And obviously we'll be talking to all the football authorities and getting their views too. That has to be Milton Keynes. It's AFC Wimbledon that really have a buzz about them now and they'll have a lot of support from around the country. Well, it's nothing but good news for AFC Wimbledon. I think I'm right in saying that they can actually win their league on Monday. Uh, it's fantastic. They're getting gates of three and 4,000, so it's like all good news. But obviously for the other Wimbledon, it's nothing but bad news, I'm afraid. Wimbledon supporters made their point.